Records and Music, Hammer, Montana again, uh, on our little uh, journey, I guess. Through amplifiers. It's been a fun little kind of, kind of starter amps. Practice amps, amps yeah. yeah. It's been really kind of fun. I think what we found, though, is that they're called starter amps, but are these starter amps? No. No. You, you stock really good stuff here, I think. You're not just uh, a dealer that's going to stock any old amplifier. Mike really stocks the stuff that sounds good, and... Um, I've enjoyed every single amp we've played for through so far. Yeah, he's stroking me now. Let <laughs> so, little Randall, Nino Betancourt, uh, signature amp. Uh, Nino Betancourt is a uh, signature player for Washburn Guitars, and Randall is uh, done to... Who's Nino Betancourt? Do you have any idea? I, I have no idea. I mean, I'm going to feel really stupid because we're talking about... sound familiar. Well, yeah, I know. I've seen pictures of him, but only in catalogs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. But I'll tell you what, Randall, um, he was actually the uh, sales manager for Fender back in the 1950s. That's where the namesake comes from. Started amplifiers, and uh, this is a little $160 signature amp. And I think, um, yeah, I like it. Let me, let me hear something. Two different channels. Jackson flying V with really long black hair. Just, I thought maybe, maybe we need to get Paul Morose in here to do this one, right? We might need to. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, shout out to the boys from Chinook. Anyway, uh, great little amplifiers from Fender, Vox. Uh, we've got some Marshall over. We're going to do some work on here in a little bit. Also carrying some Bergantino, some Gensler, uh, you name it. Uh, we've got it all, and it's. Uh, it's for you guys to come take a look at and play through and always love to jam. Yeah, great sounds. If you got a guitar or don't have a guitar, come check out these amplifiers. It's got some tasty sounds coming out. You want out. to take us out? Uh -huh. 